This is Alina. Hi. We're on the streets of Savannah at 6 a.m. We're gonna get to trains eventually, but first, we gotta talk about buses. He doesn't have duration or expertise, and he's not like Paul or Jeb who can do this with ease. And now it's apparently too late to afford, so it's apparently a trip report. I'm sure people are here to see the Palmetto train more than anything else. So to control our discussion, I'm gonna put a minute on the clock and then oh, editing, I can't make this bus discussion last longer than a minute. The bus that even goes right by our place, it runs every half hour. Uh, the last trip is at 8.33 p.m. So we had to take an Uber home last night at 9.30? Yeah, something Just like that. Late. It's near impossible to do route research because the paper schedules, the transit app, Google Maps, and the horrible bus tracker all disagree well, and part of that's due to the fact that the buses don't really run on a schedule. They run just so late that it seems to be their own schedule. Not to mention this bus we're walking to now, we thought left 15 minutes earlier, but then we were checking the tracker and then, oh, okay, actually it's like this late. So, oh, paper schedule. Okay, actually it's 15 minutes later than we thought. I think the transit app is genuinely the best way to do it, which is also a place where you can buy your admittedly very cheap $1.50 single way tickets, $3 yeah. day passes. So it just goes to show that cheap fares are only as good as the transit system itself is. And now we'll see if that was actually a minute or not. That was a three minute shot and yeah. counting. You got it. There's a Thank you. Thank you. I don't see our connecting bus to the Amtrak station. Maybe we missed it. I guess we'll find out. It's the only route to the Amtrak station which is out in the middle of nowhere. This is a train video. We're taking the bus to the train. This purple one is the bus that we're trying to get. We thought, oh, maybe it's waiting for the northbound bus we were just on to get to the terminal. But no, it just left seven minutes late. Like, it could have just waited at that point, but, you know, that... I don't know, that would make sense. Yeah. Here's this fun route. I don't actually think we have to go through all of it. I think it skips some deviations going outbound, maybe. So, this is the deviation to the woods. Um, okay, well, hopefully now we're heading to the Amtrak station. Amtrak station. Take Amtrak. It'll take you right downtown. Oh no, we missed our train. No, no, it's a different one. It's also going the wrong way. Wow, the station's open 24 hours daily. Oh no, not anymore. Now it's got a big gap. <laughs> The bus gets here 45 minutes before the train's supposed to leave because that's just how infrequent it is. Although, honestly, given how late they are, it's kind of good. <laughs> yeah, right. Both the trains and the buses, honestly. This station was actually built in 1962, which is earlier than I would have thought. It actually had segregated bathrooms when it opened, which thankfully are gone now, but you can still see remnants of them. Interestingly, the Cat 29 makes the cut on the departure board. I don't know if I've ever seen a local bus make the cut on an Amtrak departure board. Here's the bathroom, pretty standard, pretty nice. Way off in the corner, phone booths. Okay, one of them is missing, one of them's still here. Does it work? No. Wow, and it includes a fan that you can turn on and off. I guess we'll turn it off. I don't know who would hang out in here. If this station wasn't in the middle of nowhere, I feel like it'd be really nice. It's already really nice, but it's in the middle of nowhere with a bus that runs four times a day to it that doesn't do a great job timing with Amtrak trains. It's kind of sad this Art Deco mural shows the station that this replaced, the beautiful old Union Station that got destroyed to put a highway in instead. Lining up, time to go to school. Oh, vending machines and a microwave. <laughs> okay, now we wait. Okay, both of you are gonna go to the second door. There's two doors working, gonna go toward the front of the okay. train, okay? Okay, here's the complete crowd from Savannah. Not that many people, but I guess we're gonna fill up at some point. I never had them scan the ticket before we got out of the train. That was some Greyhound. That was actually some Greyhound energy, yeah. <laughs> But Here's business class, which note that if you're taking this train, business class is worse. You have worse seats. They don't lean all the way back. Is there any, like, what's the point? You get a free non-alcoholic beverage. Whoa. That's the one perk. Don't do business class on the Palmetto. It's not worth it. Unless you want the 25% bonus points. Hi. Hi. Yeah, how are you? Good. All right, Alina, want to give us a seat tour? 
Oh, sure. Because we got two outlets. Which means that if I want to charge something, I have to reach across you, yeah, a complete it's, it's stranger. Pretty awkward sometimes. I love to foot trip. Massive leg room. Stick your legs all the way out. Like, it's amazing. Well, I'm short, but yeah. We have a tray table, which comes down like this, and then extends. It is the correct size to play the card game garbage, as we found out. <laughs> yeah. The way down here. The seat has two reclining components. So first, you can to like that point. Pretty dang far back. And it's not a huge deal to do it. Like it doesn't really bother the person behind no, you because like, there's just so much leg room. And this comes up. The flippy uppy. So I am zen. There is a, a curtain that we don't have control over. We kind of do. Yeah, we get it, sort of. So we're going to leave here at 7.35 a.m. if we leave on time, and this train will get to New York by around 11.30 p.m. <laughs> Except Miles has not ride it to New York, so he's not actually completing the route, so he's actually a faker, a liar, and a cheat. I'm going all the way to Boston, and the routing system had me get off in D.C., wait three hours for the overnight train to Boston, and just get that. But you're going to Philly, and I'm going to have you record if anything crazy happens between D.C. and Philly. But the D.C. to New York part is also just on the Northeast Corridor, so it's like charted territory with a lot of other routes. If you are really mad about it, you can leave an angry comment. You should. Stupid idiot. We're leaving. Very slowly, but we're leaving. We ask that you please take the time, familiarize yourself with the passenger safety information located in the six back, seat back pockets in front of you. Please exercise all caution when you're moving about the train, especially when passing from one car to the other. Menu you shot. Menu you shot. Right there. You can leave menu your seat shot. area. The cafe car will be open in just a few short moments. Okay. You should fill my trains. These are my trains. Yeah. She stopped playing Tiny Tower. Now she plays the train game made by the same company. All right, gamers, <laughs> comment down below how many trains you have in the train game. Does anyone play this? I'm under the impression that the scenery on this train isn't all that scenic, so. I don't know what the outside shots will be like. I think you're judging too early. Well, I've just been told by other people. Okay, I know I was complaining like two seconds ago about the scenery, but this really is beautiful. Like, it's, it's like totally flooded forest. Yeah. All right, mm -hmm. it's, it's really out of focus for some, I think the sun is screwing it up. Oh, oh, this, it's beautiful people. Now we're in South, South Carolina. Carolina. That whole shot looks terrible. Super random detail, but if you're going north of DC, you get a white seat check. If you're going to DC or south, you get a pink seat check. And now we're gonna try the cafe car and see if they kick us out. Yeah, you can kick it. It's really cool. What? It's look. Does that look closed? Well, look. I mean, it looks pretty close to me. It's now been a half an hour since we left Savannah. Do you think the cafe car is open? Will it have been open in a few short moments? I think we're beyond that point. It's open. It's open. It's open. Yeah, do your trains first and then we'll go. So menu shot, menu shot. Right now you're looking at the menu shot. What'd you get for breakfast? I got a muffin. Specifically a blueberry muffin, which is why I didn't get it. I got the coffee cake, which I've had before and it's not bad. And then because I'm a masochist, I got rolled gold. Amtrak, why'd you get rid of the bagel? I love the bagel. Hashtag bring back the bagel. Oh, no, it's, well, yeah, well, yeah, no, it's nice. Coming into Yemisi here. This is kind of a cool little town, wow. There's a nice old station here. Alina's gonna test the Amtrak Wi-Fi. Oh, it works. This, oh my god, it loads really quick. I guess because there's no one on here yet. Here's what the bigger bathroom in one of these Amfleet 2 cars looks like. I don't know why it smells already, given that this train just started, but... It's currently 8.56 and I'm tired. So you want to take a nap on this bright train? <laughs> you want something that can help? 
You know, I think I could use something that could help. Here's the sponsor of this video. Whoa! The Manta whoa. Sleep Mask. Yes, we got sponsored. Now, first of all, Jackson and I made like a two and a half minute pop song about this because we thought that'd be really fun. But Manta sponsored three videos. So I'm gonna like tease it a little bit in like the first two and then in the third one actually give you the full song. Like, I don't know. I don't know if that's appealing or not, but like hopefully it like looks cool. I don't know. I mean, you can decide. Like, I don't know. Now, when Manta reached out for this, I thought, wait, that's actually a great fit because I go on these crazy long bus and train journeys where I need to sleep on the vehicle and a mask just sounded like a really helpful thing to have. And this this thing is awesome. It genuinely blocks out all the light. It's been really helpful on trips and also just at night. Like it's really nice to just open my eyes and see nothing. You know when you go and do a cave tour and then they shut off the lights and they're like, this is total darkness. darkness. And you like, you open your eyes and it's just as dark as when you close them. Now it's like that. They have a bunch of options on their website. And if you go to mantasleep.com and use promo code poor bed, you can get 10% off your order and help out the channel. So take a look and remember, we're gonna release a song in, well, I'm not gonna like do the sponsors in a row. So like two Manta sponsors, I don't know. There'll be a song eventually. Coming into Charleston, which even the signs say North Charleston, they're not even hiding the fact that we are truly in the middle of nowhere. Coming into Florence, which is a decently sized city of around 40,000 people. The downtown is that way, but there's a freight train in the way. So instead, we'll take a look at this parking lot. Well, Florence has this tiny little shack building, and then the main train station building is just not anything, I guess. We're leaving Florence. It took about 10 minutes to get everyone on. This car is pretty much almost full, and everyone here is going somewhere in the northeast, so DC, anywhere up to New York. So that just shows how important Amtrak is for connecting small communities to bigger cities. For some reason, I just came around checking tickets. I had to wake you up. I, I feel terrible. Why do they need to check tickets again? We're all seat checked already. Um, no, that's ridiculous. Where Coming into some town. What? Oh, the Dylan. Dylan. Whoa! What a great theater. We're going by cows, but there's also a massive sombrero. Sombrero? This is, is that south wow. of the border? I don't know. Is that south of the border? I don't even know what that is. We yeah. just passed out of the border. What is that? I don't know what that is. It's this like Mexican themed weird roadside attraction part. Now that is a fun fact. Coming into Fayetteville, which is kind of the one city along this stretch that we serve, like, you know, proper big city-ish. Look at all these people getting on Fayetteville. Not to mention transit accessible stadium of some kind. And you can do the train crate to Paris. Where am I? What's the deal with Netflix only letting you download things on your phone and not on a computer, making it really annoying to watch them on the go? Beep -a, -dee. a whole town here with no stop. <gasps> caboose, caboose, Falmer! Do you see it? Oh, bad Falmer. Ooh, big mansion. Here's our lunch hall. We have the Santa Fe chicken panini, which I don't think I've ever actually tried. And then the classic, two Stromboli's. Here's the Selma station, which is located on this like crossy cross track. I'm gonna try the chicken panini wrap. One bite, everyone knows the rules. That'd be pretty good. Good job, Amtrak, another winner. Here's another small town. I don't know what it's called. I was walking to class at 10 a.m. Yeah. yeah. Don't put that in the video. I was swimming the river. You don't, no one knows what that is. Here's the yeah. other side of Wilson. The more substantial downtowns on that side. Whoa, there's a million people here. I think there's also a lot of people getting off here too. Like that's another thing this train is used for, just getting between, you know, smallish cities in the southeast. Now 
fucking Rocky Mountain. Old bus weird. station and what? antique mall. Oh. Whoa, wait, oh, that's no, really the cool. Old bus yeah, yeah, yeah. But that is an old bus station. <laughs> and we are now in Petersburg, Virginia. What a long gap between stops. I don't know what this is. It's just a big industrial. Whoa. It's the Richmond River. Is it? I don't know what it's called. It's the James River. Oh. Well, we're coming into Richmond Staples Mill Road, which they said will be a, quote, very brief smoke stop. Don't film it on the platform. Everybody don't want to be in your camera. Well, the conductor said, don't go anywhere and no filming on the platform. Also, I don't know if this happened here, but they've opened up a new car up front, so I'm getting busier. <laughs> the next stop is Alexandria, which is just south of DC, so we've got a nice stretch of like two hours from this stop. I like all the blooming trees you can see in the back. Oh yeah, that's cool. They've been all throughout Virginia. Now we're in the cool residential street running bit through Ashland, Virginia. Isn't this cool? It's like a main street. This is so fun. passing through Spotsylvania, which is the first stop on the BRE commuter rail line to DC, which means that we're officially in DC territory. It feels really weird to pass through Fredericksburg without stopping. Is this the Potomac? Yeah, it is. It's totally out of focus. It looks like a lake or, or, or a, yeah, a lake. Oh yeah, look at that civilization. Whoa. It's Alexandria, baby. Finally, we crossed the mighty Putamik. This is not it. Stop trying to find birds. You know that app is like three gigs on my phone. <laughs> and I found I didn't even find the right bird. Now I gotta put a picture of the bird in so the, the foamers in the comments can figure it out for you. We're in DC, the lights have just turned off because the train's gonna switch to electric power. But we're here for 61 minutes, which means that you have time to go to the station and get dinner. And I'm here for three hours until my train to Boston anyway. Now of course, the question in everyone's mind, this is DC and it's 7 p.m. Will anything be open? Who cares if Wendy's was closed? We got a real authentic Philly cheesesteak. You know what? That was a pretty good, fresh cheesesteak. We're from Columbus. Not Palmetto is boarding. Okay, have a good train ride. Bye. I told Alina to film anything if anything interesting happens on her way to Philly. Um, in the meantime, we'll go to the review and then see what Alina has to say. The Palmetto, it's a good route and I underestimated the scenery. Especially in the Carolinas, you're getting a lot of cool views of swamps and these very kind of lived in rural areas that seem to have been around for quite a while. Once you get up into Virginia, it starts to, you know, lose a little bit of its luster, but I think it's still worth a B tier on the scenery tier list. And just in terms of overall service, the Palmetto is good too, because it's a supplement to the silver services. So it's one of three trains a day that goes to Savannah, and it's basically offset by 12-ish hours to the Silver Star, Meteor? Silver Meteor, which is what I always advocate for, for long distance trips. So this is basically the day train version of that, and it gets really busy, it generally runs on time, more or less, and it serves a really important purpose of serving these small towns in the Carolinas that really wouldn't have transit service otherwise. So because of that, I'm gonna give it an A tier on the service tier list. Also, it's not the Palmetto's fault, but the bus connection in Savannah is so awful that you can only use the Palmetto northbound because the southbound one gets in too late after the bus has stopped running. But yeah, uh, check out the sponsor if you're looking for a really, really good sleep mask. And yeah, let's go see what Alina has cooked up for us. Well, the video is getting long anyway.